All right. Well, it's almost 1130, but my mom ain't here to tell me to go to bed, and I don't have an exam in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more video for you. Ain't that nice? Yeah, that's nice. So here we go. We're going to do some more complicated things with exponents. It's all the same. You follow PEMDAS. You do the stuff on the bottom. You do the stuff on the top. You put it all together. All right. Follow the same rules every single time, and this will be easy. All right, so let's look at the top first. And there's not really anything to do with the top. So I'm just going to leave that as 3x squared y to the negative fourth. Yes, I understand this is a negative 4, but I'm not going to move it yet because if you move stuff, you may end up with a negative, another negative later, and then you got to move it again. So just deal with the negatives for now unless you just have this unearthly, unbounded fear of negatives. Just, it's fine. All right, now we'll look at the bottom. This is x to the negative 2 times y to the negative 1 times 2 times x cubed times y to the negative 2. So with all that multiplication, I can do in whatever order I want. So I'm going to put the 2 first, and then I'm going to put the x's together. So x to the negative 2 times x to the third. Since I'm multiplying, I'm going to add negative 2 plus 3, which is just x to the first. And then I got y to the negative first and y to the negative 2. If I add negative 1 and negative 2, I get y to the negative 3. So then I can group these together. This is just a fraction which doesn't reduce. So I'm going to leave it like it is. x squared over x to the first. 2 minus 1 is 1. So x to the first. And then I got negative 4 minus negative 3. Now if you got to do it like I do over here, you do that to make sure that you don't make a mistake with that subtraction. I would hate for you to lose points because you don't know how to add negatives, not because of the problem with the, with the uh, exponents, whatever this stuff is we're working on. So that's plus a positive, and so that's negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. So y to the negative 1, you don't you dare I end with a negative there. So we're going to have 3x, which is x to the first, over 2y to the positive 1. Now that it's on the bottom, there's the answer. Now I'm running out of time quick. So let's jump down. Let's, uh, let's maybe look. Uh, let's see which one looks like. Oh, this one looks like it could be fun. We're going to distribute a negative. So here we go. Follow PEMDAS. Do the parentheses. Do the exponent first. So we're going to distribute it. So that would be x to the negative 12 because the power of a power I multiply. y is now going to become positive. So that's y to the 16 because negative times negative is positive. And then I got times negative 2, x to the negative 2, y to the negative 2. Again, this is all multiplication, just like it always is. So we can go ahead and put all that together. So we're going to go negative 12 and negative 2. That makes x to the negative 14. I've got the negative 2 still, so I'm going to put that in front. And then if I put the y's together, i got 16 and negative 2. Add those together, and you get y to the 14. And then that, because I got the x to the negative 14, the negative 2 is not a negative exponent. So don't move it to the bottom, okay? It's not an exponent. It's a number. It's a coefficient. And so it is a negative 2. Negative 2, I'm sorry to tell you, ain't the same thing as 1 half. And so if it's not a negative exponent, then don't move it to the bottom, all right? So here we go. The negative 2 ain't an exponent, so it's staying there. The x to the negative 14 needs to move to the bottom because it's got a negative exponent. And then the y to the 14 just stay where it is. All right, so there you go. Let's see. Let's do one more. We need time for one more. Which one more can we do? Ooh, that looks like fun. Let's do that one right there. How about that? Which one you want to do? This one? Okay, yeah, number 41. Yeah, that looks like fun to me too. So here we go. Top is going to stay the same because there's nothing I need to do there. Okay, I can't simplify that, so let's look at the bottom. Well, a to the 0 is 1, so that's going to go away. I'm going to need to take care of the parentheses with the exponent, right? So this negative 4 is going to distribute to everything. All right, so make sure that you do that. Now I'm going to just going to rewrite for now the 2b to the negative 1, and then it's going to be 2 times 2 to the negative 4, because the negative 4 is going to get distributed as an exponent. a to the negative 12, because when you have the power of the power, you multiply and b to the negative 12, because when you got the power of a power, you multiply. I just said that, so I hope you know that. So now I'm going to put together the stuff on the bottom. Yeah, you could stop putting stuff together on top and bottom, but that's a little bit confusing. So we're just going to do one thing at a time. 
So let's fix the bottom. I got a 2 to the first times a 2 to the negative fourth. So I add the exponents together. That makes 2 to the negative 3. I got a b to the, so I, I took care of those two right there. So now I've got a b to the negative first and a b to the negative 12th. So I'm going to add those together because I'm multiplying. Therefore, I add the exponents. So that's going to be b to the negative 13. So now I got that. And there's only one a down there. So a to the negative 12th. So now we can start putting things together. We'll put the 8 together. The 2, nothing to put together. So it's just going to stay there. I know it's a negative exponent. We'll, we'll worry about that later. 3 minus negative 12. 3 minus negative 12. That's plus. That makes 15. So a to the 15. Because I did 3 minus 12. The thing that I was subtracting from was on the top. So a to the 15 goes on top. Then I got b2 minus 13. So uh, that would be 2 minus negative 13. And maybe you faster than I am with that. But that's 15 again. So b to the 15. And so then we say, oh, look at that. That's a negative exponent. We don't want that. So we're going to move that up to the top, 2 to the third, a to the 15, b to the 15. And it is over 1, but over 1 is going to stay the same. So, yeah, that's 6 minutes. I'm done for the night. Hope that's helpful for your exponents. Ciao.